Hi, this is Alan from Alpus Group and uh, I'm just going to talk you through how we uh, go about searching for commercial to residential uh, conversion property in uh, the area uh, near where I live, sort of Hampshire, Surrey, Sussex borders. And uh, what I've done is, um, as you can see from the screen here, I've gone to right move and just to cut short, um, I've um, put input a postcode. Uh, where the search will be centred and you can see over here on the right the circle of 15 miles around that uh, central central point which is in Liphook uh, in Hampshire and uh, this will bring in uh, as far as Farnham, Guildford, Godalming, Hazermere, Billingshurst, Petworth, Midhurst, Petersfield, Alton, Borden, Farnham, Aldershot, Fleet, Odium. So these these are not the big centres like uh, Portsmouth, Southampton, Chichester. It does just bring in Guildford, but uh, otherwise these are more uh, rural towns where you might well find offices located in quite high residential uh, value areas. So if we look down, uh, we've got uh, a result of eight results from uh, this search in that 15 mile radius. We've got an office in Farnham in Surrey, uh, which looks quite presentable as a um, residential property. So that, that could be a suspect that we can go to uh, inquire further about. There's another one in uh, Godalming, which uh, I think I've seen this one before. It could easily convert to uh, residential. It's got more of a modern sort of uh, look to it, but um, uh, we can... Uh, investigate that, how easy it would be to convert to residential. This next one, uh, I don't think is suitable. I've seen this before. This is an office on an industrial type park. So although in theory you can do permitted development of it to residential, I don't think that's suitable. So we'll say no to that one. Uh, this one is um, the old calf shed, Lippen Lane, Southampton. Uh, new build development for business units. I don't think that's going to be suitable for uh, residential conversion. There's this one here, which is in Liphook, which um, we can look at. Uh, that's quite near where, where I live, so I can uh, go and have a look at that one, investigate the price of it. It's on quite a good sized site because I've had a look at these details before, and um, uh, that. That could be quite an interesting one for residential development because um, Lippock is a very nice residential village. This office probably is a bit out of place there, so um, it could be suitable for redevelopment of that site. This is the same site. Uh, this one here is in Midhurst, uh, Knock 100 House, Knock 100 Row. That looks like it's in a conservation area and uh, it could convert very nicely into residential. So we can investigate that one um, for residential conversion. And this one here, again, is in the conservation area of uh, Hazelmere. Um, so we need to look very carefully about uh, whether uh, we, we can do that under permitted development. I think probably we would need to get planning permission for, for that one. But again, the look of the building suggest that it could easily um, convert to residential because there's a lot of um, very nice houses and that sort of style in Hazelmere. So um, what, what we're trying to do is do a first pass and identify some suspect sites, which we've done. We've discounted a few and we've got um, four sites to follow up, um, which are all in quite nice residential areas. We can check the residential values of those uh, postcodes using Nimbus maps. And I did uh, check the value in uh, Liphook earlier, and that uh, was £373 a square foot. So if we look at the um, uh, Liphook site, that looks as though it could uh, be suitable for conversion if we can buy it at the right price. So I've sent an inquiry off to the agent and uh, I'm going to wait and hear what they say, how much the vendor wants to put, um, sell the freehold interest in the site, and uh, we'll see whether 
uh, we've got something that's profitable. If we can secure the site for around two million pounds, then that that could be a, a, a potentially profitable uh, residential development. But what I'll do is I'll inform you in future videos how how this goes and uh, um, see how we get on with each of these uh, four sites that we've we've identified as uh, suspects for residential uh, conversion from commercial office use. Okay, I think that's uh, all for, for now. Uh, speak soon. Cheers. Bye.